Hey, hey, Country View, this is your Wildcat welcome for Monday, October 14th. And a happy birthday to Ayan in first grade. Aw, happy, happy birthday. birthday. On a mindful mm. Monday, we are going to learn something new. Yeah. Are you ready for this breath? Absolutely. All right, well, this breath is called Buzzy Bee. Buzzy mm -hmm. Bee. So we're going to kind of close our eyes or you can look down. And then you're going to breathe in through your nose and keep your lips tightly shut. So breathing in. And as you exhale, you're going to hum the sound of the letter M, almost like you are making a sound like a bumblebee might make. You're going to notice the how the vibrations feel in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And you can continue the M sound until you feel the need to inhale again. And repeat the buzzy B breath, inhaling through your nose and then exhaling the hum of a buzzy being a few more times through your mouth. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes or look up and you're ready to learn. Okay. Yeah. That's a dandy. I love it. Yeah. Because that vibration piece like vibrates my thoughts right on my head. Yes, I really like the vibration. It mm -hmm. also gives me something to focus on. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. totally. And I like to see how long I can go on that exhale. Yeah. Yeah. That's total. And it slows you down so that you're intentional about your exhale and aren't just like a. <gasps> yes. Slow and steady breaths. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's that. That is a great way to start our Monday. And now it's time to honor Hispanic Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. Let's check out what we learned today. Hola, it's Miss Castillo again here showing you something like Home or Casi Casi Un Hogar by Andrea Beatriz Arango. It is available in our LMC in English and in Spanish. Andrea Beatriz Arango was born in Puerto Rico and has Cuban roots as well. Laura Rodriguez Colon is a sixth grader that moves in with her titi after her parents need help. She befriends a puppy and needs to learn what home is to her. This novel is written in verse, which means each chapter is kind of like a poem. It might be a good fit for fourth or fifth graders. This book offers us a window into what it would be like to live away from your parents and live between languages. Laura's Puerto Rican heritage helps us learn more about other cultures during Hispanic Heritage Month. Another great book. Mm -hmm. And as we come to a close of our Hispanic Heritage Month, uh, these are all great books that we have in the library that you can all check out. All year mm -hmm. long. All year long. <laughs> While scholars, I'm Miss Theme. And I'm Miss Fresh Hour. Make it a mindful Monday. And we'll see you at our next Wildcat Welcome.